Hi and welcome back to the first part of creating a train station scene. Today we'll do some modeling, so let's jump right in. Okay, here we are now in the Fresh Blender 3.0 file. And first of all, let's delete the cube and for real world scale, I like to in import here uh, our character. I think that's okay. And now we can here create our floor, which is a plane and has 50 meters in the X and 40 meters in the Y. Yeah, because we want to create a big train station and yeah. Okay, so, and the next one will be some pillars. So let's uh, put our rust here on the side and we want to use a circle sorry a circle here and let's go here into the options let's change the vertices from 32 to 8. okay cool let's go to the top view by pressing the 7 and of uh, pressing the 7 and the numpad and let's go into the wireframe mode and we want to change the rotation in the Z value to 22.5. So we have here even or the edges uh, here on the um, X axis. Okay, cool. <clears throat> and now uh, we will go uh, yeah, select here. Let's rename this one to pillar and maybe the plane to floor. And yeah, let's select the pillar and go into edit mode by pressing tab. We want to use now the edge mode here. So let's select this one or you can press the two on your keyboard and select all edges by pressing A. And then we want to extrude this region. So press uh, and press and hold here this plus and extrude this one. Now we want to um, offset not the z value we want to offset here the y value which will be minus four because we want to have a pillar which is four meters yeah let's go here into edit mode again and what we want to do now is um we want to make here on this and this side um some yeah, light stripes something like this so let's uh, select this one and select um, this face or the faces by pressing the three or here this button for face mode. So select this side and this. And now we want to use here this tool, which is the insert faces. And now we have to yeah, press and drag the mouse so that uh, the selection will get a little bit smaller to something like this. And now we want to extrude this one to the inside of our pillar, um, which we can do not with this normal extrude because then we will extrude in only one direction. Um, we have to use the extrude individual. And when we are doing this here, we are yeah can easily extrude this one to the inside which is really cool so okay i think this is looking good right now um, okay so what i like to do is um to add here bevel to get uh, rid of these um of these edges here but first of all we have to um select this one here and press shade smooth and yeah to get rid of these uh yeah strange shading here right now we have to go to um yeah to this uh, object data properties and to the normal tab and select auto smooth our pillar is <laughs> now looking better and now we can add a bevel modifier um and yeah let's uh, increase here the amount a little bit and the segments so we are having a little bit smoother edges here right now so maybe to something like this maybe let's increase this one to 10 so we have uh, yeah, a little 
smoother edges here or this one. What we want to do now is um, yeah, put these pillars all over our station here right now, but um, I really don't like to yeah, put this one by myself or copy and paste this one. So let's uh, yeah, try the new geometry nodes. And what we have to do now is, uh, yeah, let's duplicate here our floor. Let's rename this one to GM, GN or geometry nodes. And yeah, first of all, I like to go here to object, apply and all transforms. And then you can see the scale and the Y are um, yeah, it's reset to one. So that's the, the normal scale now of this object. And now we can go to the add modifier and add geometry nodes. So, and now let's yeah jump to the geometry nodes tab here. And as you can see here, we have now our um, small setup. And now we have to search for something like uh, object info. Okay, cool. And we can, yeah, I just uh, select, we can select here our pillar right now. So let's select this one here. And now we want to search for instance, instance on points. Okay, so let's select this one. And now we will put here the geometry into the instance and the instance to the geometry here right now. As you can see, nothing happens because um, there's nothing where um, the instance or there are no points um, where the instance can be dropped right now. So um, what we can do now is search here for a grid and put the mesh uh, into the points. And now you can see here we are having yeah, a grid with uh, our pillars, which is really cool here right now. Um, let's uh, deselect here our pillar right now. Okay, what we can do now is yeah, put the uh, X value to maybe something like seven and the Y value to 30, maybe to something like this. And we want uh, vertices like two, vertices X like two, and vertices Y like four. So <clears throat> I think that's, that's a good size here for a train station. And as you can see here, our, um, our pillars are not uh, in the right rotation and we can change this as well by going here into and uh, we can there are two ways sorry there are two ways we can go here and change the z value to 22 or we can here select our main pillar or our instance we can go here into object apply all transforms or in this in this case uh, rotation and now the rotation is set to zero and that's uh, the start point something like this okay maybe we can put this one into collection which is here pillar and we can hide this one so um, this is looking good right now so what the next one is is um yeah let's duplicate this floor here and uh, put this one up here um to four meters and uh, which is now here our ceiling that's cool and here for this floor one let's uh, select here these edges in the edge mode and let's extrude this one down here so we have uh a little wall okay that's cool and now i think we are uh, going to add here some uh, lights for 
for the ceiling. So um, yeah, let's make it really quick. So um, yeah, let's add a cube, which is this one here. Maybe let's get rid here of the ceiling. And now <clears throat> we can here put this one down to maybe to something like this. Um, oh, sorry, it was the wrong one here. This here. And let's put this one up. And now we are going to make the same uh, light trick which we did here in by the pillars. So let's select here this uh, face here down and make an insert face. Okay, and select this one here. As you can see, we have, uh, yeah, we have to go really uh, down here with the size. And now we, when we are pressing uh, S and Y, we can select here this one in the Y axis to maybe something like this. And now let's press E to extrude this one uh, to the inside. Okay, I think this is good right now here. Uh, let's do the same thing again. Let's uh, select, made a right click. Let's do a right click here and shade this one smooth. And we can go here to normals and select auto smooth because now we are want to add here a bevel. That's our really tiny, tiny things here, but I really don't like it if I have so hard edges here. So that's a little bit better, I think. Let's uh, create a little uh, some hole holder. Um, let's create here a, a cylinder. Um, make this one uh, 64 vertices and shade this one smooth. Make the same thing again here. Auto smooth and scale this one down and put this one up here. Maybe to something like this. Put this one down. And what we can do now is go into edit mode here. Select the select here the upper face right now press i to make an insert face and now uh, e to extrude this one here and now we can press g and z to extrude this one here a little bit in the height and maybe let's scale this one a little bit more down and yeah Select here the faces, uh, the points, um, or select this face. By the way, if you are pressing Alt and Z, you are going into, uh, yeah, what is it? <laughs> Wall hack mode <laughs> or something like this, because then you are seeing the points or the edges, which is, uh, which you can normally uh, not see here and then you can select them as well so okay so let's put this one up here right now to maybe something like this okay and now we are going here into this uh, top shot mode pressing ctrl shift d or now pressing shift d i'm oh, sorry and put this one here up to this side Okay, cool, that is our light here right now. And maybe we can uh, put the whole stuff here again into a collection, which is, uh, which is here the light. Okay, cool. And yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's add uh, this one to our geometry node setup because I'm lazy and I want to do this whole stuff uh, yeah, by uh, myself. So let's hit here into geometry nodes. Let's duplicate the whole thing here. Um, 
and put this one down. And what we want to change now is um, we don't need an object info because um, uh, with this one we can only select um, yeah one object. What we want to do is now uh, or what we search for is a collection info. And let's put this one here to instance. And now we can select here our light, which is cool. And now we have to add here a join geometry and put this one between these two nodes here. And now we can easily add here our lights, which is cool again. And yeah, let's see. Let's adjust this one here by adding here a three, maybe to something like this and maybe something like this, but we have to change here the size. I don't know. Okay, let's go here with three. And so let's add here our ceiling. Okay, now we are having here our lights, which is really cool. Um, if you want to change uh, yeah, the position, um, Let's search for uh, trans, uh, translate instance, put this one here in between these nodes and now you can adjust here this one. Maybe let's put this one here a little bit up. And yeah, cool. Now we have thing here, our lights in our scene. And the last one um, is a train. <laughs> And we don't want to model the whole train right now. So um, I have a train model, which uh, I will show you here really quick. So, okay, here we are. Uh, <laughs> here we are having here the subway car. I will put a link to this one uh, in the description. It's uh, free. And now let's go here back into the layout mode and adding this one here into the scene as you can see it's a little bit too hot uh, too too big <laughs> so maybe uh let's rotate this one 90 degrees and let's see put this guy here in the center again and the subway car a little bit up so i think Something like this is a good size. Maybe a little bit down. I think this is a good size. And now let's uh, put this one here to uh, this side. I think maybe a little bit more here the gap between this one and now we can put this one here over by pressing g and then you can press here the x y or z uh, keep on your keyboard and then you can adjust this only in this direction so let's duplicate this one again and maybe another one here so and now we are having here um yeah a train and our train station which is really cool and yeah that's uh that's the model part here right now so this was the first part of this series and the next one will be texturing i hope you learned something if you have any questions please let me know see you next time and bye bye